first of all, congratulations on another big win. Three and one, you've got to be very excited. What did you just tell your players? Oh, I just told them, I said, you know, they went through a lot of adversity that first half. I mean, we made a lot of mental mistakes. I mean, jumping off sides, you know, we just, you know, we just didn't, we weren't very focused in on that. And that's what was very disheartening on that part. But, you know, what we saw the second half is they settled down and they came out and they played ball. They played ball like we knew they could. And, and you know, some big plays again and defense stood up there too. So, I mean, I'm very pleased with it. I mean, you know, like I said, I, I, the first part, your first half, I was this point as far as in the mental mistakes, but hey, those are things that we'll work on and enjoy this victory right now. Uh, it looked like there was a little bit, uh, I want I don't want to say injury bug, but it looked like you had several starters have to come out at different times, a little banged up, uh, maybe not anything bad, but talk about the, the guys that did come in for them. Uh, you got to play some a little deeper into your roster tonight. Oh, I mean, like I said, you know, we got we knew those kids go in there and, and nobody's hurting us. That's one thing we're glad about. I mean, you know, they're going to get bumps and bruises on there a lot of times, but, you know, again, when you play a hard fought game, but like I said, I, my hat's off to them. They're so much better than they were last year. That's what I told Coach Jackson. They were so much better a football team this year, and that made a big difference. And it was a great ball game. And I'm just so glad that our kids settled down and enjoyed the second half. Uh, looking forward to next week. What do you, what do you uh, see coming up uh, in this uh, this next week of practice, and even into next weekend? All I know is that we're going to enjoy this victory tonight, man. That's the bottom line. I told them enjoy this. We'll worry about next week when it comes on as far as money. But right now, hey, we're enjoying this right now, and, and uh, you know, like I said, we're very excited to be three and one, and uh, you know, that's the first step that we need to take care of. So we're very excited about it, and very pleased. Thank you very much, Coach. All right, thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Defensively, what did you guys do this week to kind of plan for? I'm on a solid. Uh, we just executed our game plan. Coach Shelton had a great game plan. Uh, you know, they came out and ran the ball a lot more than we, we expected, but uh, we just played sound football. And uh, actually, this whole season, this defensive unit has played incredibly well. What's been, can you point to one or two things that have been like the major differences? Uh, like from this defense to last year or the year before because you guys have just played so well and made key stops in such uh, key times in, in these games so far. Man, we've just been working hard. Uh, you know, everybody sounds, you know, from the front to back. And everybody flies with the ball. So, I mean, it's hard to get gain any yards when everybody's flying around. Sure. Well, congratulations. You're our defensive player of the game. So, uh, 13 tackles tonight. That's, uh, that's impressive. For anybody who's never played football, that is really, really hard to do. Uh, so, congratulations again. Thank you very much. Thank you. I talked to him earlier tonight I told him his his stats for the night and I said hey what are you what are you happier about the 158 passing or receiving yards or the eight rushing yards and you smiled and said the eight rushing yards now uh, you did run in high school a little bit yeah I, we ran a lot of a lot of the same packages stuff just going line stuff just trying to get a short yard and things so, I mean, I'm used to it but it was it was a good feeling getting back into it you had one catch here that was a decent catch I know that you were looking at the end zone uh, talk about just the development of that one play yeah, well, I mean, we kept running the football well, so I mean, they brought the blitz and you know, we played, play, did a play action and uh, got open. Justin found me, so I, I seen open field, but I mean, <laughs> not the fastest guys. So. Uh, I would say fast enough. Fast <laughs> enough. Uh, congratulations, uh, co offensive player of the game. Uh, once again, 158 yards on nine catches, uh, two rushing touchdowns, which is uh, a different line than you normally have. But congratulations, a great win tonight. How does it feel just to get this win? Man, it was, it was, it's awesome. It's awesome. I, I, it's such a good team victory. We, you know, we prepared so well over the whole week, and I just, I don't know, it finally it paid off. You know? It yeah. feels good. So. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Now I'm going to come over to, uh, to our quarterback, our record setter quarterback, as he just looks at me and shakes his head to the man of the hour. That's right. Congratulations. Uh, all time uh, Southwestern passing yards and touchdowns. That's not a small feat. Uh, uh, but, but more importantly, even there at the end, you're lunging. You know that your shoulders hurt, and you still lay out for that last touchdown, trying to get those extra yards. Talk about how important it is for you guys just to keep pushing uh, for these wins every single week. Well, we came out here and we played pretty well. I mean, we, obviously, like Corbin said, we safe, we faced some adversity, and we just stuck together as a team. And I mean, a win's a win, whether it's by 100 or by one. But we came out here and got the win. I'm going to throw a hypothetical out to you real quick. I was talking to Jim O'Brien, and he said, if we could just get rid of the penalties and the stupid plays, I wonder what it would be like. 
how good is this team? This team's really good. I mean, offensive, defensively, special teams, we, we got a lot of playmakers on this on this, on this field. And so, yeah, like you were saying, those super penalties, false starts, offsides, personal foul penalties, just, just stuff you can control. I mean, penalties are going to happen here and there, but you got to be able to limit them to the ones that you can easily control, just mental penalties. That's one of our offensive goals, is no mental penalties. And we just have to get better and get back, get our minds back on it. Looking forward to the rest of the season. Uh, I know that we're going to celebrate tonight. It's a big, big win, being able to go 3-1, and one, which this is your first time as Southwestern quarterback going three and one. How, how important is it, confidence-wise, going into this next week and even in the rest of the season? Well, we're all, we're a really confident team. Like I said, we got a lot of players in this team that are just confident and they, they believe in themselves and we believe in each other. And just getting wins is, is nice. I mean, whether it's ugly, pretty, however, knocking off wins and getting momentum is good for us because, the, like Coach C, like Co, Co, like Coach Kokenauer said, these next three weeks are going to win or lose us the conference because we got to we just got to get after it. And Knock these wins out. All right. Congratulations, co offensive player of the game. Uh, once again, great numbers tonight. And uh, you had you had over 300 passing yards just for tonight. So, yeah, yeah. Did you even know that? You didn't know that? I didn't know that. That happens every now and then. Congratulations. Uh, and great win tonight. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.